Hi, today I want to talk about stuff that I take in the boat. And, you know, I was thinking about a few things, but as I got to looking in there, there's a lot more than just a few things. I mean, there's stuff that I just never leave the dock without, and that's what I want to talk about. Um, some of the things that I don't leave the dock without is has to do with fish care. And that would be, I need some rejuvenate, something to put in, some chemicals to put in a live well to keep the fish alive. And I also need my balance beam and some tags to mark the fish so when I'm culling them. So those, those things always go with me. And another thing that always goes is a set of jumper cables. Uh, jumper cables, I just leave them in there. Hardly ever use them, but if you ever need a set, it's really important. You just throw a set in there. Don't take up hardly any room. Just leave them in there. Just check them from time to time, though, because they can get pretty rusty from being in a, if they get in a compartment where there's any water in there. But, and also, uh, a couple other things are ropes. I like to keep one big rope there, and I keep it wound up just so it doesn't get all tangled and knotted. And make sure it's kind of a heavy-duty rope. Uh, this would be something for, like, Say you wanted, if you wanted to pull somebody in or if you was broke down and you had to tie your boat up and leave it somewhere, this would be a great thing to have right here. I also keep a short rope, just a dock line, just something to tie me up to the dock. So a couple ropes, something you need. Um, and as far as tools go, I like to keep a few basic tools. Uh, I'm going to have my hook sharpener, a hook file, of course, need that. A good pair of scissors. Uh, this is a pair of stainless steel scissors. This is something I use constantly for cutting lines, cutting ropes, you name it, something like that. Uh, a pair of long nose pliers, always going to have those. I keep a little bit of super glue. Between some super glue and some duct tape, there's hardly anything that's going to break during the day that you can't fix with that. And I keep a multi tool just so it'll have a knife blade and a couple screwdriver blades. You never know. Um, Another thing I like to take with me is a plug knocker. Uh, I've got a couple of plug knockers. I keep another one that just fits in my pocket that I run down the line. And if it doesn't work, I get on some fishing line or something. Plug, knock, plug knocker like that right there can save you some baits. Uh, another thing is a roll of paper towels. Uh, some towels or some paper towels if it's a rainy day or if you just want to wipe your hands off a hot day, get the sweat off your glasses. A roll of paper towels can go a long way. Um, sunblock really important. I always keep a bottle in the uh, boat there and that way I reapply it. Because like in the mornings I'll put some on but as the day goes on it's nice to have a bottle there handy where you can just put some more on. Especially if you start feeling, if you start feeling like you're getting burnt you better put it on because you're getting past the point. And you know there's some other things like life jackets and throwables. You know you, you got to have those. Those are something that's mandatory. You know you, you, you can't go out on the water without them. And another thing is rain gear. I keep I keep a pair of rain waterproof shoes and a rain suit in the boat with me at all times because even though the weatherman says no rain today it doesn't matter. That's one thing about being a weatherman. You can be wrong all the time but I always keep a rain suit in there and if it's winter time I'll keep some stuff in there like some gloves and uh, I'll carry a helmet with me and maybe some extra dry clothes in case you really get wet you can put some dry clothes on and keep you safe. This is some of the stuff I take with me on the E-Team boat every time I go, and I hope some of these things are uh, helpful for you.